All right, so today I am back out. I'm exploring some areas that I used to go to maybe a couple years ago, haven't really revisited in a long time. So today I'm gonna kind of go around, see if I find anything, and uh, we're gonna continue the search. Painted turtle. Uh, this one was basking on this log and I didn't film it because I thought I'd have to sneak up on it, but looks like it's not feeling well. It seems to have a uh, swollen eye. So it's gonna kind of have to work that out on its own. And this is how turtles typically will work things out is by sitting and basking and drying it out and you know letting their own immune system and absorbing you know the, the sunlight <clears throat> kind of helps them get better. So I'm just gonna put this turtle back. But first turtle of the day is the Eastern Painted Turtle and hopefully she will feel better soon. All right, so I had it in mind that I wanted to snorkel this creek here, but it kind of sucks because now it looks like it's all clouded. And that's been kind of a trend with this stream over the last couple of years is it used to run crystal clear all the time. And then through all the development that's been going on on this creek, uh, it just keeps getting more and more cloudy. So I'm hoping that this is only reflected by the recent rain and this is not the new norm for this stream. Uh, because it would be really cool to get in and just kind of snorkel all this stuff and find barber's map turtles and alligator snapping turtles. Uh, it's just such a cool stream. So nothing here, so we'll keep moving and check the next couple of pools that we find. All right, so luckily I looked down because I came up on this copperhead on the crawl really gonna bother it. It's interesting to see this snake just kind of doing what it normally does. Uh, it's more normal for them to come out at night, but um, this one's pretty thin, so I'm wondering if it's a female and she just gave birth to babies, because these are usually much thicker than this and not out during the middle of the day, so. But not a bad looking copperhead either. Give you a better shot of it. You can see how that camouflage just helps her blend in so well uh, to the ground, even though she's out in the grass. I mean, she still blends in well. It took me a second to even notice her. Really awesome snake. I have no uh, problems or qualms with copperheads. I like to just kind of give them their space. And like I said, I'm just really glad I was paying attention and looked down because it would not have been hard to step on the snake if I wasn't paying attention. But, you know, usually when I'm in, you know, habitat like this, I'm already looking for cotton mouths um, and you know it, it just pays especially in these warmer months just to pay attention to the ground when you're walking because you know it's really easy to miss a snake especially one as camouflaged and uh, well suited for its habitat as this one. You can see her head's right there and she's uh, doing her natural defensive behavior. Her first line of defense is going to be just to freeze up and hope that I don't see her. Uh, she couldn't be more wrong. I see her totally fine, but um, I definitely don't want to bother this snake. I may um, kind of send her on her way because this is actually a uh, baseball field over here. And while there's not a lot of people around, I don't really want her to risk getting um, beat to death or whatever it is that people like to do. So I may see if there's a way I can kind of, come on. Yeah, I hear somebody hitting some baseballs. Come on, move, come on. There we go, a little stomp of the foot, she feels that. There she goes, all right, perfect. So, yep, she's just gonna take off into the underbrush. So now she's safe. 
So luckily nobody up there is gonna beat her with a baseball bat. All right, new spot. Uh, one of my favorites. I just stopped here because I drive past it. So I figured give it a moment. Just kind of walk and see if anything's around in the shallow water. And then uh, I'll call it a day for today and then get out uh, probably tomorrow or the next day. Uh, always worth you know stopping and checking out spots that have been productive in the past. The water's a lot more clear over here too, which is a big, big difference. Just moving really fast. Looks like something goes back up in here. Let's take a peek. Anything hiding in there? Don't see anything. All right. All right, back out again. And uh, Gabe came through with the spot, this time uh, baby barbers. So back out with my buddy Gabe, Nature with Gabe. And we're out here looking for more turtles. And uh, first turtle goal today was Barber's Map and got that first try. So pretty stoked on that, but we're gonna keep looking and uh, maybe shoot some more photos and footage of this little guy and let him go. Gonna release this river cooter that I found. Get a shot of it swimming around in the shallow water. If it does it. <laughs> there we go. Whoop. All right, so Gabe is gonna release, Gabe's gonna release his favorite species of turtle. Woo! You like all soft shells? Spiny soft shell, <laughs> yeah, all of them. All of them, they're just so cool. Definitely my favorite, all right. Cloud of dust. <laughs> he like ran into that rock. Now nah, he's like working his way up the rock. Yeah. He's gonna hide under it. Right there. Probably be able to. Cool. He is. Right there. You can see his shell. Yep. That's cool. Yeah, you can see his little head right there. He took off, and then now he's hiding right here. You can see his little eyes. His beady little eyes. You can see his face? Yeah. All right, so I got really lucky and happened to see a turtle with his nose up, and it was this juvenile alligator snapping turtle, and kind of saw his nose up and told Gabe to run over and get get a look at it, and there was a brief uh, moment where I thought I lost him, and then he started taking off across the bottom. And so now we're gonna film and take some photos with this guy, and about an eight-year-old alligator snapping turtle, probably six or seven inch shell. He's trying to hide anywhere he can go. <laughs> He's gonna go after my feet. But just a really pretty turtle. He's got lots of color in the uh, pattern on his skin and 
Uh, just a really cool looking alligator snapping turtle. So I'm always stoked to see the little ones. They're, they're a lot more textured and uh, kind of a lot more going on than the big ones. And these guys are just always incredible to see. So pretty stoked. Always fun to find these guys. Sky. <laughs> and there was a loggerhead musk <laughs> seen a lot of those on the channel so that's a really pretty one always cool to see these guys big fans of uh, loggerhead musk turtles All right, so this pretty little loggerhead musk, ready to go back into its habitat. So I'm just gonna release her right here. There she goes. <laughs> All right, so Gabe is gonna release this alligator snapping turtle that we caught and uh, send him back on his way to become a future giant. So good to see this dude, but it is time to send him on his way. Send him his uh, walking papers. All right, buddy. Great knowing you. A little shadow moving across the bottom until he disappears. Oh man, my hair looks terrible. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for following along with this uh, adventure that me and Gabe have been on today. Uh, as always, it's really fun to get out, explore these creeks, find turtles, especially barber's map turtles, alligator snapping turtles. Um, they're just some of the best, uh, some of my favorites. Uh, but next week, I really do hope to kind of start getting on, looking for some specific stuff, spotted turtles, striped mud turtles, maybe even diamondback terrapins. So thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. And uh, make sure to follow my buddy Gabe, Nature with Gabe. I'm going to post a link to Gabe's channel in the description of this video. And uh, follow him, or we're going to have problems. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, thank you guys.